now the demo can begin. Alrighty. So, let us configure the 2C as a client and the GS as a server. So, let's do this one to configure the 2C as a client. And remember your port numbers, <laughs> 6501. And this is 1.4. Good, so it's waiting. Now on the GS, I'm going to configure a server. Configure server. And the IP address we want to test is 192.168.1.4. And it is a 6501. And we try to connect. We get a tick. We get a tack. And we get a doe. Okay. Now, yes, I want to save it. Now, this is one of the bugs I want to fix. I want you to allow lowercase y. Okay. And I'm going to put this in board one, box one. Okay. So now let's cat and see what we have. We should have a text file that says ttd uh, client.ini and ttd server box one. Okay, so I'm going to delete ttd.client.ini because I don't need it yet. I'm going to recreate it when I need it. And on the um, 2C, I do want to save that as a client. Yes. Okay, so now I can actually run the client on the 2C. So we'll hit number three. Okay, we're loading extensions and we're listening on 6501 for a server. Okay, so now let's just uh, go to basic system. And let's see, do I have an old disk image in here? Yes, I do, that's why. Okay, so what have I been testing with here? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so how do you do version control with floppies and sneaker net, which is now SD cards? All right, six. I've got to give it a boot. All right, well, let me just check on the 2C. Do I have the server? Basic system, server four. Server, okay, good. So let's uh, just run the client on the uh, GS. So we're gonna configure a client, yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, run. Configure a client. Okay, my port number here is 6500. And I am 1.7. So on the 2C, I'm going to quit. So I'm going to type a 0 and a Q. And I'm going to configure the 2C as a server. Okay, so I want to connect to 192.168.1.7 and port number is 6500. Okay, and we're testing and we have communication. Okay, so I want to save it on the 2C with a box. We'll do box three and run the server. And let's see what we have. We have box three configured. And on the client, we want to say, yes, this is the client we want to use. So it saves our IP address. Okay, now we run the client three. So this is before I developed the server. That's the disk I had. Okay, server is running, listening for a connection. So now we should be able to send commands from the 2C. So if I hit box three, oops, I have to go to the 2C and do that. 
box three, and we want to send a kaleidoscope. And we got two beeps indicating a successful connection. And now it's displaying the kaleidoscope, but one thing I want to fix here is um, if even if I close the connection, I want the kaleidoscope to keep running. So we'll fix that bug. Let's hit enter, close that connection. Okay, now I should be able to go back in and do the same thing. So I should be able to say box three, K. And you got a connection, and I should be able to close the connection. Okay. Now, um, at the start of the game, there's a musical theme playing, and I could play it either on the client or the server. So I could say, client three, play music. And I could interrupt the music by closing the connection. So that's another question. Do we want that behavior or not? I like it for now, because the music could get annoying. But let's play the music on the server, because imagine you have nine of these tic-tac-toe monitors, and let's uh, po play the music. Um, so what I do is I hit zero for server commands and type M for music. And, hello? The 2C sound is uh, coming, it's hooked up to another monitor. That's why you're not hearing it. I could unplug it temporarily. Okay, it did play notes, so we know that that works. Okay, plug that back. Okay, so let's see what other client commands we have. Uh, what did I hit? Three, two? Okay, so I hit a bad key, like I hit three and then two, and it negatively acknowledged it doesn't know what the two command is from the server. And let's see, I um, check a different uh, box. Uh, box is not configured. So this server can connect to nine different apples that have Fuji nets, which is what Bob Bishop was doing in the day. Okay, so now let's uh, go to, uh, let's go to the three again, and let's see the dragon. Yes, we have connected and now, why does this dragon have an anomaly in the upper right corner? That, I don't know. Is that the basic code? Huh, oh, it's really a machine language move of a uh, picture. So, that's a new bug. Okay, but uh, it may just be a version control issue. Corruption, uh, data rot, bit rot. On SD cards these days, you never know. Okay, so next command is uh, we play the music, but let's leave the dragon up and let's say on three, we'll play the music again. Ha ha ha, we have an old client. Yes, let's look at this. I recognize this was a previous bug. Now the question is, uh, okay, C051, or control reset. We had an illegal quantity error, I bet. Now my question is, did we just destroy our <laughs> computer here? Yeah, <laughs> copyright Apple computer list. Five, open text string, print TX string. Ooh. All right, let's just see if we can now, see, now we have a hanging connection because the 2C is waiting to close the connection and uh, the 2GS crashed. So let's try this again. We're going to run the client and loading extensions. Okay. So what I want to do is try to connect it. Well, see, like first, if I close the connection here, Okay, we got no error closing it, but now let's try to connect again. Three, connect with uh, D, and we get error 39. So that's like a smart port error. It can't communicate out, and uh, it's listening, and I, could, I try to... Yeah, so really, we are hosed now. So I do want to reboot the GS 
And uh, let's just quit on the 2C for now. Okay, so we're going to turn off the GS and turn off the FujiNet power. And I'm going to turn on the 2GS and see if it can connect automatically to Wi-Fi without power. And it doesn't look like it. It never works when you try to demo it. It works all, all the other times. Okay, so Mount Fuji is offline. Sorry, Atari. Okay, network. Nope. All right, unable to connect, and that's the default. You can use it without wireless, but you want to test that. And I'm not using internet on, on my home router here. It's just a TNFS server on a Raspberry Pi. Okie dokie, what's up? I'm on 2GS. Fujionet. All right, what I want to do is mount the TNFS uh, floppy image. It should be the latest from here. Apple II. I want KFest, and I want this one in uh, slot two, read only, and I want my copy two plus in slot three. Okay, now we're going to escape to boot, and we're going to see what we get. All right, bye. Okay, five one we have tic tac toe, and slot two one we have the duplicate name, which we're gonna leave. But we're gonna run copy two plus and rename slot five drive one. Okay, so rename the volume, um, rename volume in slot five one to tic tac dot gs. 2GS, okay? Now we're going to be able to copy files. I mean, it's nice to completely wipe it first, so... Yeah, it's really old junk that was on an old, old version. Uh, I think I've been copying it to a hard drive image and testing it there and not using this old floppy image, so let's kill all this. So we're going to have to reconfigure our client, and I want to test this as a server as well. Okay. Okay, now let's copy files from which drive? Tic-tac-doe which is the TNFS server, copy it here, and let's copy everything. Okay, we do need move pick, but this is just a test program for drawing the pictures, which uh, when you're testing your move routines. So this is gonna take a little while. In the meantime, yeah, let's see. Two C. Let's exit the two C because we want to be clean. Clean connections while that's running. Okay, now will you connect to Wi-Fi? Yes. Okay, FujiNet. We're going to configure again. Okay, so let's configure. Um, the G okay, what we were doing was configuring this 2C as a server and the 2GS as a client. Okay, so that FujiNet is 6500. And uh, no, we need to change that IP address. So uh, future enhancement is to get that address from the FujiNet itself. But for now, we have liars. Okay, we make this escape. Bum, bum, bum. And make that seven. Run. All right. 
Rx 6500. There we are. Okay, and now um, on the 2C, we're going to connect to 1.7. And as a server, uh, 6500. And now we test, and our network is back. Very good. So we're going to save this on the 2C again as uh, server box 3. Good. And we're going to run the server again just to see if we got a better version of the server this time. Okay, and we save client on the GS with a capital Y for now. Okay, now we run the client. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Okay, can we talk now? IP address, okay, server test we've already done. I didn't want to break out of that. And uh, let's we can just do dash startup, but why not? Just uh, run this server number four. Okay, now let's see if we can send a dragon to number three. Yes, without an anomaly. And it disconnected after uh, waiting for a loop of a delay loop of a thousand in basic. Because you want to give the client some time to respond to your message. And it sent back an ACK. Very good. So now let's uh, do the kaleidoscope again. So we do uh, 3K. Did I press it? 3. And Command K. Okay, unable to connect. That is weird. We got a 39. So it disconnected, but now it can't reconnect. So I think I have a version control problem here. <laughs> Three. Uh, D again. Yeah, now. Why are we getting that? Three, four. 3x. Uh, nope. All right. Oh, we got 10, 15 minutes. All right. Let us redo the 2C configuration. So let's just reboot the 2C first and see if we can recover from this error. So the 2GS should still be checking for incoming connections, but I don't see the light going. So. I could break the 2C. Let's see if I hit Control C. Yeah, text, list. Yep. All right, so error is obvious in all this code, huh? All right. Run. I want to see if this is recoverable or not. Okay. And let's try it again. Three. Server, I want uh, four. Okay, let's try connecting to three and sending it a dragon. Nope, unable to connect. All right. So we need to debug these programs and then um, debug. <laughs> you know, need to get it all working with a good end-to-end -end test of the game before we can release it. Okay, but this is the fun of coding for apples, legacy apples. So could people have done this in the 1980s? Sure, but not with FujiNet, but with uh, serial cables, whatever. All right, so I want to just bring the 2C up to date with the latest code. Okay, 2C is connected to wireless, and uh, well, um, on the 2GS, I'm going to show you the work disk. 
But for now, on the 2C, we have two copies. Oh, we have the work disk, and we have that. Okay, so I wanted copy 2 plus, which is where? Copy 2 plus. Okay, so we'll put that in slot 4. Okay. And we're going to reboot again. Tac 2C, in basic, RAM, tic tac doe, and copy 2 plus. Okay, let's run copy 2 plus. I think in basic is the floppy disk on this 2C. Let's just do a catalog. Okay. Uh, it's 5, 2, 2, 1, DOS 3.3, okay. So what is what? What is 2, 1? Is that the, that I believe is the latest code. Should be like 18 files. Uh, yeah, test draw pick. Okay, so I want to copy that to the first floppy. Copy. Ah, I got it. The files. It's 2, 1. 5 1 and that's not what I want <laughs> catalog again okay so that in basic volume is the work disk I want 2 1 to 5 1 okay so copy from files from 2 1 to 5 1. And I could just copy all and overwrite them. Yep, there are 18 files. Let's hit go. And it's going to go to tic tac 2c. And now it's going to say, I'm going to say all to copy over all the files. And now I know I have the latest version. Now while that's running on the GS, let's uh, eject what we don't need. And boot the GS. Now hopefully we'll have a stable network. Or it will reveal bugs. All right, so that. Setting up the preconditions for server box. Nope, we haven't tested this as a server yet. So we're gonna do this as a server. We're gonna boot the 2C with the latest client. Make the 2C the center square. Okay. So you can see there's a lot of possible network tests you could do with this configuration client server. So let us configure a client. Oh, okay. So yes, we do have to configure the client on the 2C and have the server connect to it. So this is 6501. Okay, opening, good, it's waiting, and now I connect to the 2C, which is, remember, 192.168.1.4, and it is a 6501, and it's running, and now we load, and we right tick, 2C responds, tack, do. So we've got a good client, so this is going to be server box 5. Okay, so now we run our server 
on the GS, and we are seeing box 5 has the two C's connection information. And we have to save this client. Okay, and we run the client on the 2C. Okay, and the client is now waiting. Now we can do some nice little tests. So the client, see, box 3 is not configured, but box 5 is configured. So we'll send a kaleidoscope. Nice. We close our connection. We send a dragon. Uh, we have to send it to 5D. There's your dragon. And it sent an act. Now what I want to try to do is play music on 5. And... Okay, so it's playing on a 2C. If I turn on the monitor, you might... I could dial it in here. Uh, the video is not S video, it's video. Right, yeah. No, don't yeah. Want, you don't want the ads. All right, and we'll play music again. Okay, so we'll do that M, uh, five M. Uh huh. Yes, hello, audio. See, I have to hit the select. Okay, now I want to see what happens if I interrupt the music. Okay, the three beeps was closed connection. Let's do a 5M. And we interrupted it. Now will, we, will it work again? 5M. Yes, it does. Okay, so we have a good client and server running. Now, what else can we do? We can send an X. So we do a 5X. And if we had another monitor, we would uh, have like another box. We could send O's and X's. So let's do a 5O. And let's see what else. Okay, now say we type in invalid command like a W. We send a W and it doesn't recognize that message, so it sends a NAC. But uh, let's try a C, which would mean to shuffle the categories. So that's a valid command and it sends back an ACK, but it's not implemented yet. And let's see, 5Q would be sending questions. So like it, it could display a question and then uh, based on whether someone gets it right, they get an X or an O. So player X gets an X. Okay. So I also want to get rid of those beeps, uh, but make it an option with a variable to turn them on and off. Okay. And uh, Z is what causes the 2C to exit to the menu. But watch this. If I say 5Z, okay, we have connected and it closed the connection after it got the ACK, but I'm not sure if it can reconnect. Let's try that. Go three, run the client. Okay, now, will it be able to reconnect? Five, C. No, unable to connect, there were 39, so our network is hosed. So I need to close the connection when I have the Z command. Now let's take a look and see where that is. Quick is the server code, the music, that's the music. This is um, the menu, select client, and the com commands are 4,000. So let's see, where does the Z command go? Okay, so you see those N, ampersand, NST, those are FujiNet, checking your network status, your open file, open Fuji, check your status, write Fuji to send something back to it, and closing connection, it goes to 4380 and checks its status, waiting for a key, waiting for a message to come through, and at 4410, if it has a message, it does an amper n input and then tells you what the client responded, which is an ACK or an ACK. And then close, that's what closes your connection. But 
this 9999 startup is not closing the connection first, so I'm going to have to do that. And this was a fun live demo. Stop streaming.